Hey everybody, um, very disappointed in myself. Very, Did very you know cow myself. farts could fuel um, this entire country for decades? I had going through Hit the reason the deck, why we're starting son. here and not where I originally had started from is because I went ahead and I was playing through the rest of the game and I had done a half an hour finale full of commentary and full of all these cool cutscenes and everything else and I had gotten everything done got the final finale done and made it to the credits and found out that unfortunately i didn't hit the record button so you know the I, we're here now and, and the bad part about playing like early playstation 2 games especially like hack and slash games like this and god of war is that once you make progress excuse me you can't go back um, once you make, uh, um, once you get to a certain point, it automatically saves for you, and it's not like it just does it in a quick save. You know, once you make progress, that's it, progress made. So, unfortunately, I don't really, I don't, I don't, I said really like, you know, I don't get to show you the cool server room cutscene that happened. Um, I don't get to show you the really cool part where you find out that uh, Spanx is uh, really supposed to be an uh, artificial weasel. You know, you don't get that because of my errors. I'm sorry. I am really and truly sorry. And, and to show you that, I would have to replay the entire game. Start and oh god. That is just as much as I love this game, um as much as it just it it just tickles me to no extent to do that again and to have the experience again. There's just so much that I want to share with you and so much that I want to show. And animals are that would take far too long. Like it would take something close to like a week straight of gaming. Just to get back to that point. Like even even this fight is much harder than it was before. Cause he would literally come and destroy his own bookcase while um, I was standing off to the side. It was cool, it was fun, it was funny. And I was like, wow, that's absolutely, I had awesome commentary, now I'm just upset. I'm upset at my own negligence. It's just, you know, at least with a game like, um, Minecraft or an RPG to a certain extent. Oh, come on, just leave me alone. Um, yep. Now he's fighting more along the lines of. Oh no, no, now he's destroying his own stuff like he did before. Isn't that awesome? It doesn't feel the same. Um, you know. Uh, unlike RPGs and, and different things like that, um, you can save at one point, do multiple saves, and hey, if you mess up, at least you can go back and re-record the content. And it doesn't feel like anything has been lost. Um, here, it's like, well, shoot. You know? It feels like, well, crap. Oh, what's this? I didn't see this last time. It's just a random room. So now I just gotta run around for a little bit and show you and it feels a bit, it feels a bit more lackluster. Never send a weasel to do a, to do, to do the job of a weasel chain to a rabbit. Aww. It feels a bit more lackluster doing it this way. You know, and, and it wouldn't be so bad if I could just go back and show you guys that particular cutscene. But I don't think this game 
has the option of going back and showing like movie cutscenes and stuff now like what that. It's like when the weasel goes so, you know, but if I can, if I can, I'd be more than happy to show you exactly what went on before this so you guys can have, you know, a somewhat complete gaming experience. Yeah, so. Let's beat the executive of Genron, who's not actually that hard to beat. Um, if you use your animal allies to your advantage, I don't know why the skunks are over there. I don't know why the monkeys aren't throwing poo at them. I really need the monkeys to throw poo at them. Alright. Get him poison, make his head big, and just keep beating him down. But it's nice that Redmi came back. It's kind of nice that he's hyper. Makes the boss pause. Alright. And he's almost finished. It's nice, he can't rush through um, the monkeys. I like that. I need the slow lorises that are the skunks to come on. Yeah, there we go. Because he's invulnerable to attack before then. And there's a skunk just relaxing over by, <laughs> over by the other bookcase. Come on, get him. There we go. Nope, there we go. Did you know? that weasels and rabbits are natural enemies in the wild? I'm fired. Attention, T minus 30 seconds to Project X lift off. Quickly, everyone board the ship. Yes. No! Now is everyone aboard the ship? Nine, eight, seven, Wait six, for me. five, four, Come on! three, two, one. Yeah. Come to me. Dude, that bites. Seriously. Maybe we can sue someone. Well, I am one hungry hare. Guess we better scare up some din-din, huh? Maybe we can find my mother. And in that moment, Weasel and Rabbit were no longer enemies. Okay, let's do it. And so it was that the mighty corporation fell. And the animals took their rightful place among the stars. And you yourself felt satisfaction brought about by an artificial resolution of a conflict. God willing, you will tell your friends to purchase this game. Or let's be honest, just let them borrow it. And in doing so... Oh, will you shut up already? I'm getting a migraine. Hey! Hey, buddy! So, that was Whiplash. Um, I hope you liked the playthrough of that. That is one of my childhood favorite games um, ever. And, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed the platforming portion of it. I thoroughly enjoyed um, the storyline. It was captivating, it was funny. Uh, the script writing for it all was hilarious from start to finish. Um, you had elements of it that broke the fourth wall at times. Really cool. 
Um, and it was just an overall good game, you know. Um, I don't know. Oh, well, yeah. Like I said before, um, surprised that PETA wasn't really like a major supporter of this game. Um, seeing as how it's animals getting retribution for. And uh, for um, uh, animal testing. So that was very cool. It was done by Ito Studios. The studios that did Tomb Raider, I believe, too. Ha! He was still hyper. So let's see. Is there anything else? So it only gave me 95% complete? Well, that doesn't make any sense, but... And it doesn't allow me... If I press select, does it take me to a special menu or... Something? Anything? Movies? No. No. Alright, well. Well, yeah. Eidos did this and, you know, obviously this was a time before uh, they gave you a menu to look at all the different types of stuff that you can do with the game. Um, it's before they gave... Because this game didn't even have subtitles. Uh, you didn't have that option back in these days. And they didn't give you an option to look at all the cutscenes. Which would have been really cool. So again, I am so sorry. I cut out one of the coolest parts of the game. I thought that Genron was going to blow up. I thought they were going to do a, like a final tally at the end of the game. That showed you how much... Uh, a damage that you caused, but it was, I believe, over seven hundred and thirty thousand dollars worth of damage. So, or, or we sent them into the negative, so they're in debt for nearly a million dollars. A uh, hundred and twelve percent of everything was destroyed. I got all the security keys. Um, uh, Spanks and Redmond are completely were completely leveled up, and I guess I they made me take. Uh, the last hyper snack because I got the last upgrade that showed you where all the med kits in the levels were so very 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 cool game I highly suggest if you can go out and find like the announcer said at the end of the game if you can go out and find the game and purchase it and play it through yourself go out and do that um, if you want to just borrow the game from somebody you know who has it and you have like a PlayStation 2 or a PlayStation 3 that's backwards compatible I would highly suggest playing this game. It's phenomenal start to finish. Platforming was a little frustrating um, in some parts because it went from very nice to just balls hard, uh, especially in the boiler room. Manufacturing seems like it'll be bad. Trust me, the boiler room in the waste was the worst part, but you all saw that, so thank you. Thank you so much for joining me for this finale of Whiplash. I hope you enjoyed the game as much as I enjoyed playing it for you all. Hit me up on Facebook. Hit me up on Twitter. Uh, let me know what you thought about this playthrough in the comment section below. Uh, I'll be moving on to the other games to finish up. So we still have Prince of Persia at this time and Outland to finish up before I'll be moving on to the new content. And I'm actually going to be slowing down because I'm... You're seeing a massive influx of uploads with all these games I need to get caught up on. Um, but once I do get caught up with those last two, you're going to see a slowdown where it's going to be two releases a day um, on this channel. And then I'm going to be doing other, I'm going to start other projects uh, and get my other channel going, which is Conscious Thought. If you like something a little more serious, introspective, extrospective, I think that's a word. Um, just uh, thought provoking and all this other kind of stuff, go check it out. That's where I, I ponder out loud about the world and my surroundings and things that are just interesting to me um, at the time of my recordings. Uh, so for right now, I got this series called Trudging Through the Race where I'm playing through Fallout 3 as I think about different things that are going on in the world and stuff like that, current events. So. If that's your cup of tea, check out the sister site, Conscious Thought. I have another website or another YouTube page that I'm co-running with 
a partner of mine, the Mad Hatter. It's called Time Out Gaming, where we go over there, we have snacks, and we play through games on the hardest difficulty possible, and you just get to see our pain and anguish throughout the entire thing. Um, we did Evil Within, Alien Isolation, we're playing through Bloodborne at this time. Um, we're playing through the Resident Evil and Silent Hill series, so it's a fun time. Go check out that if you're if that's your cup of tea. Um, so that's all that I have going on right now, but there are more, more, more projects coming in the near future. So thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for your support. I am The Outlier, and I will see you all in the next video.